Hi, welcome to Games Web. Uh, today we're going to carry on our look at Marvel Crisis Protocol, a uh, miniatures game from the guys at Atomic Mass Games. And we're going to look at CP07, which is uh, Black Panther and Killmonger. All right, okay, so um, it's quite a new product. It's only been out a few days. Uh, it's been out probably about two weeks longer in the US than it has in the UK because of um, a shipping problem. But anyway, that aside, let's have a quick look. So we get the two figures, uh, Black Panther and Killmonger, and then we get uh, our back of our book. So, uh, book, it's not a book, it's a box. Um, okay, so let the hunt begin. King T'Challa is the leader of Wakanda, a technically advanced nation that houses rich deposits of the precious metal vibranium. As Black Panther, T'Challa connects to the panther god, Bast, by eating a special heart-shaped herb, therefore granting gaining superhuman abilities t'challa uses these powers to protect wakanda and the world from those who would seek it harm a fallen son of wakanda eric killmonger desires to rule wakanda uh, an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, killmonger also possesses advanced enhanced strength agility stamina and speed this allows him to be to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his nemesis, the Black Panther, and makes him a dangerous threat for anyone who stands in his way. Includes one Black Panther miniature, one Killmonger miniature, two bases, three character stat cards, sorry, two character stat cards, three team tactic cards, one crisis card, one affiliation card, and 15 tokens. Miniatures supplied, unassembled, and unpainted. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Right. Right, so... Um, we get our bag of goodies and an empty box. Okay, so we'll have a look at the sprues first and then we'll, we'll do the, the cardboard afterwards. As uh, Tim from Cradock always says, do the cardboard. So, okay, we don't get two bases, we get four bases rather than two, which is great because these bases uh, are among the best I've seen in a long, long time for. Any miniatures game, really good. Okay, so one small sprue, one large sprue. Okay, the small sprue, which is this one, is Black Panther. And I will assemble the models um, in a while, in a moment. We get them all cleaned up and assembled, so you can actually see what they look like when they're uh, all built up. And there's Killmonger. Now Killmonger uh, comes with. Um, a couple of optional extras. They're not actually optional extras, they're just parts to um, fill in the sprue. So he has uh, two heads and two lots of top knots and two of the tiger head for, so the, the uh, jaguar head or panther head to go on the statue. So uh, that's Killmonger. Really nice detail. Um, the models look really, really nice when they're all built and painted up. The studio models look amazing. Um, and it was really good fun to watch Dallas Kemp actually working on them on the live stream a few weeks ago. Okay, so we've got a read me first, which is basically um, given with every uh, thing we get, and our assembly instructions. So um, not going to be uh, too taxing to do, um, even for a novice modeler. Um, there are just like a few simple steps that you need to follow. Um, the pieces on this, there's a couple of small pieces, but nowhere near as small as the pieces on things like Captain Marvel and Ultron, which were, you know, I've been modeling for over 50 years and I found I was losing the will to live when I was actually working on uh, Captain Marvel. Not Captain Marvel, sorry, Ultron. Captain Marvel was quite bad, but Ultron was awful. Right, okay, so we have our. Um, Wakanda um, uh, token, that's our affiliation token for Wakanda, and then we have, um, these are for Killmonger, these are Killmonger's kill, kill counters, which goes into effect with his uh, card, which we'll look at in a moment, and then we have a panic icon, and more of these um, Wakanda icons at the top, and then we have our Wakanda faction card which is the same on both sides, and as uh, Black Panther with his leader, because he is a leader, he's a king, uh, Killmonger, Okoye, and Shire. Now, I think that's probably going to be expanded at some point to include um, Mbaku 
uh, because I, th I'm, I think they will bring Umbaku out. But that said, Umbaku is actually uh, Man Ape in um, the Black Panther comics, and they had to change it slightly to um, avoid any complications when uh, they brought the, kiln, the the movies out. But these are based on the comic books rather than um, the movies. Okay, so we have our Crisis card, which is Mystic Wakandan Herbs, fact or fiction. Um, plus two herb assets, which are um, most likely going to be these. Yep. Yep, those are the herb assets. Uh, on the central points of the map, A, place two vessels, which will be... Um, I don't know. Uh, no, that could be the vessel. That could be the... That, yeah, I imagine that was the vessel. Um, um, ta uh, targets of opportunity on other points. Um, players score four victory points if an ally character is holding the herb whilst contesting the vessel during the cleaning up players. Um, you have to interact. A uh, character holding the herb may perform more than one action, uh, adds one die to its uh, uh, attack, physical attack, rules and as immunity which is always on uh slow stagger superpower so basically um it can't be slowed and it can't be staggered as long as it's having uh, it's holding one of these things hose plays first is away from the player's edge uh and the vessels are placed closest to the player's edge boards so basically you need to have them on the opposite sides of the boards to actually score your victory points and this is a extraction and it's 15 points so that's the the crisis card. And then we have the three cards that come with a faction. We have Battle Lust, Usurp the Throne, and Wakanda Forever. So Battle Lust is only affiliated, reactive. At the end of your move a move action made by an allied character activation, the moving character may be may spend power equal to its size to play this card. The next attack made by the moving character, this activation, adds dice to the equal to its size. Uh, if the attack deals damage, the attack is resolved, push that target away short. Which isn't bad if you actually play that against Hulk, because Hulk's going to do quite a bit of damage, because he's quite tall, quite big. Uh, Usurp the Throne is unaffiliated. Uh, Killmonger may spell 3 power to play this card. This round, Killmonger has 2 dice to his attack rolls when attacking the enemy character with the highest threat value. If Killmonger dazes or kills this character this round, its controlling player scores 2 victory points. If there is a tie for highest threat value, Killmonger's controller chooses what, who is affected by this card. That is a very good card to play with Killmonger, obviously because Killmonger's um, one of the characters here, but Killmonger has um, a ability that allows him to um, gain um, uh, re-roll dice and stuff like that for every kill that he has um, which is called kill card or something like that which I'll check in a moment because I've not actually seen the Killmonger card properly and then Wakanda forever um, Wakanda active any number of allied Wakandan characters uh, may spend one power to play this card each character that spent power may immediately perform an attack with a power cost of zero so if you've got um say um let's have a quick look uh black panther has got strike at zero so he could immediately call immediately do that uh attack because it costs zero and same with um Kilmog, he's got a vibranium weapons that cost zero um both of them are strength two range sorry range two strength five so they're both quite devastating attacks and all you need to do is spend one per point per, per person. It doesn't count as their activation. That's quite a nasty card. Okay, so I said I was going to look at the card, the big cards. So we'll look at Killmonger first. Okay, so um, going across the board, uh, it's uh, Nijaka, which is Killmonger's um, Wakandan name. Uh, he also goes by the name of um, Eric Killmonger, which is the name that he took uh, after his father was uh, exiled and died uh, in America. Right, so um, in the comic books, Killmonger's slightly different to he is in the movies because in the comic books, Killmonger actually um, was welcomed back into Wakanda and then through a, um, an uprising uh, against the Wakandan throne. Um, he's not really a good guy. Uh, and he also can't take the heart-shaped herb because he's allergic to it. So he couldn't become the Black Panther. 
um, because he's not of royal blood, um, a direct royal blood like um, T'Challa or Shira. Okay, so um, I'm looking at the card itself. Um, he's got a stamina of six. He's got a movement of medium. He's got a height of two, and his threat value is four. Um, got a really good physical defense of four. Um, very good uh, energy and mystical defense of three. Um, his vibranium weapons, as I just said, has got a range of two, strength of five, and a power of zero. And um, after this attack is resolved, uh, the character gains power equal to the damage dealt. Uh, it's wild, is, um, it's got pierce, change one of the defending characters, uh, crits, um, wilds or shields to a blank. So <laughs> that's, quite, that's quite a nasty card to have. And then um, he's got, and that's a, an energy attack, he's got a physical attack which is black ops strike. It's got um, a range of three. Damage of 7 and um, 3 power. If this attack deals damage, after the attack is resolved, place that uh, this character within range 1 of the target. So um, basically this is a free move uh, attack that people like um, Venom and uh, Crossbones have this kind of follow-up move, which is quite good. And it has stagger after this attack is resolved on a wild. Um, the target gains a stagger special condition. Which is very, very good because stagger means you've got to spend an action um, to shake it off. Um, basically, puts you down to one action. Okay, and his specials he's got um, charge, two power action. This character may immediately make a move action followed by an attack action. This superpower can only be used once per turn. Right, so as soon as he moves at M, which is medium, that's quite a decent. Um, lick of speed that he's actually getting out of his movement. Uh, special forces, which cost one, pow one power. Uh, when this character is attacking, it may use the superpower to calculate success step of it. Uh, during this calculate success step of the attack, this character may choose to count uh, shields instead of uh, hits results of successes. Um, um, focused on a kill. This is the one that I was uh, going on about um, with the kill counters and also with the um, usurp the throne uh, tactic card. If this character makes a, uh, an attack against a character that has already made an attack against, um, oh no, sorry, yeah. If this character is, makes an attack against a character that has already made an attack against, uh, it adds two dice to the attack roll. Sorry, that was focused on this kill. And the one that is the kill count one. When this character dazes or kills an enemy, it gains a kill, to kill count token. When this character is attacking, it may roll, re roll one die. And it's attack roll for each kill token it has. So if he kills four people, um, which is not really going to happen, but if he gets the killing below and kills four people, he gets to re-roll four dice. So that's his healthy side. Um, so on his unhealthy side, his stamina goes down by one, and that's it. Everything else stays exactly the same. Uh, he just loses a, one stamina. Okay. So moving on to... Um, T'Challa. T'Challa's the um, king of Wakanda and is the Black Panther. And I'll put him on the right side. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, looking at his card, he's got a um, stamina of six. He's got a, m a movement of long, so he's really fast. Um, height of two and a threat of four. And like King of Mon Killmonger, he's got a uh, physical uh, four, energy, and mystical three. He's got the same um, kind of attack with his strike, which is 2, 5, and 0. Uh, after this attack is resolved, he gains power for that, and this can actually push the character short. Um, he's got Kinetic Burst, which is... Um, that one, Sorry, the strike was a physical. He's got Kinetic Burst, which is an energy attack. Uh, it's range 2, strength of 6, and 3 power. When making this attack, uh, during the pay cost power cost step the character may spend up to three additional power uh, add one die to uh, this attack for each power spent so basically um, it can roll nine dice for a kinetic burst um, if he's got three power on it costs him six power altogether to do it but he does nine dice okay um, and then uh, on a wild it goes an explosive force after the attack is resolved other characters within two 
uh, range two of this character are pushed away from the character uh, short uh, small sorry push characters suffer one damage okay and then um, his leadership ability is uh, King of Wakanda uh, any allied character rolls attack defense or dodge dice may spend one power if it does that character may re-roll one of its dice right so that's only for affiliated characters or allied characters with um, with that so basically um, it's Costs one power, but if you're sitting on loads of power, you might as well go for it. And he's got um, Mantle of the Black Panther, uh, which costs two power, making attacks this turn, and uh, the character may re reroll any number of its attack dice. Uh, this is one of the unique abilities for Black Panther. He's got Pounce. Now, in the comics and in the movies, and also in the cartoons, um, T'Challa's extremely fast. He's very, very fast because he's got the, you know, like the, um, the abilities of a cat, uh, well, basically a big cat, a, a panther. Um, and at the moment, he's the only character in the game who's got this kind of ability. Uh, this character is thrown short. It doesn't suffer damage if it collides with another character or terrain feature. This superpower may only be used once per activation. So basically, you can uh, move long, move long, and then use two power and throw yourself short. <laughs> so he just, he just literally does a little pussycat leap and um, knocks something off a ledge, you know, the kind of things that cats do. And he's got Vibramian armor, which is always on. Um, uh, when defending against physical or energy attacks, this character adds blanks to its defense rolls uh, to its successes. Right, you know, so um, the only thing he's failing on the, um, when he's actually defending is hits and um, uh, hits and skulls. So he hit blanks and crits and shields he's actually saving on. So that's quite a good power to have. Right, and he's got a threat of four as well, same as Killmonger, so he's not that expensive. And if you feel Killmonger, uh, Shire, uh, Black Panther and Okoye, I think it's uh, 15 points exactly, because... Uh, or is it 14 points? 14 points because uh, uh, Akoye is only 2 points. Okay, so uh, he's got the same on the other side. Uh, he doesn't actually go down on his stamina. Stamina stays the same. So, pretty good character. Nice models. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly assemble these. And then we can come back and have a quick look at them once they're assembled. So, see you in a moment. Okay, welcome back. Um, sorry about the delay. Right, so um, here we have the assembled Killmonger and Black Panther. Um, take a look at them and I'll tell you my thoughts on the things. Right, a um, couple of wee gaps on um, Black Panther. Just one second, I'm just going to get me focused for you. Um, I'm not sure why uh, I got the wee gap on his leg. Uh, it did seem to fit perfectly when I dry fit of it, but... A little tiny bit of green stuff will fix that. Same on the other leg as well. Uh, didn't go together very well. Um, but that's a shame because it's such a nice detailed model. Um, just zoom out a little bit so you can actually have a proper look at him. Right, so... Um, attention to detail on it's quite good. Really, really good animation on the pose. This is, this is probably um, one of my least favourite characters in Marvel. Uh, but this is probably one of my favourite looking poses for the model. Um, it looks fantastic, it looks really, really nice. Okay, so uh, moving on to Killmonger. And Killmonger's um, standing on um, this uh, panther statue. Um, there's a little bits on, the, on it that need tidying up, uh, but I don't have a file with me, so um, as you can see here... Um, there's quite a few more lines. Um, if you're new to modeling and uh, gaming in general, I would be I would invest in a decent pair of snips. The snips that I've got here are very good. Um, and be very, very careful when you cut Killmonger's head from the sprue because um, it does uh, the actual contact point on the head is just on his chin and it leaves you with a really obvious mark on his chin. So you need to clean that up. I mean, all this is going to be cleaned up before I prime it and any little gaps I'm going to fill. Now, this one's um, not too bad for um, for gaps. 
he actually turned out quite well. He went together quite well, actually. Um, animation's fantastic. Um, looks very menacing. Lots and lots of musculature, which is going to be good to paint. And um, of all the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures so far, this one is absolutely screaming out to be painted in uh, contrast paints. Uh, the flesh tones are going to be fantastic. And what I'm going to do, I think, is um, I'm going to actually give him loads of tribal tattoos. Uh, the um, Michael B. Jordan uh, Killmonger version in the movies, uh, in the movie, I should say, is uh, covered in ritual marks for all the killings he's done. Um, I'm not going to attempt to do that because I don't want to ruin the model. And I don't fancy doing like a ziggurat paint all, all over the top of the model. I'll lose all the detail there. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do like tribal tattoos on his uh, on his chest and his stomach and on his back. But the muscle musculature is uh, absolutely brilliant. And I do like the stature as well. The stature is quite nice. So um, that's a quick look at... Um, if I can zoom out again. The zoom feature on this camera is a pain in the neck. <laughs> right, okay, so... Um, that's a quick look at uh, Killmonger and Black Panther for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, I will be doing a full review um, with a breakdown of both uh, models and how I think they work best with other characters uh, within the game um, very shortly over on Gamers Web. Um, so please keep your eye on Gamers Web and check that out. Hopefully the next uh, release in the UK should be Venom. And probably Shuri and Okoye because they're due out at the same time as Venom. Uh, for some reason, the UK is running about three weeks behind America. Um, this is due to some shipping problem that um, Asmodee uh, have had with um, Fancy Flight and a couple of other companies. So um, we'll just have to see how things go. Right, as always, I've been Mark, and uh, thank you for tuning in to Gamers Web. And I'm making this video. Uh, the end of December, so um, I just like to wish you all a very safe, happy, and prosperous 2020. And hopefully, you will continue um, tuning in and supporting the channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do because that really does help. Once again, thanks very much, and keep rolling those dice high, true believer.